This is PC747, bringing you the latest in tech and entertainment talk. Before we get started, the first thing I recommend you go ahead and do is upgrade your tablet to at least 5.6.1.0. When I actually did this the first time, when I went all the way through, I actually got hung up halfway because I was on the 5.6.0.0. And when you go to do the Amazon Facebook Unified APK, pretty much the step to disable, or I'm sorry, to get location, you're gonna find yourself running into problems. So go ahead and just do that first to save yourself a headache. So I went ahead and going to show that being first, even though I ended up having to do it later. Now, just to note, all of the APKs, I'm going to uh, link where I got those from on droidforums.net. If you go to Amazon Prom Day, you're going to see a thread there. And that's where I talked about how I did each one of those steps. And if you have any questions, I have no problem answering them there. Now, I want to make sure I give credit to what credit is due. All of these tutorials that I've done, I got from XDA. So that is where I got everything from. And I want to make sure that proper credit is given there as that's where you're going to find everything. So let's go ahead and get on. Now, to save you guys from having to go to a bunch of forums, I think a lot of the what you're going to want to do is going to be able to be accomplished with these three steps. So the first step I ended up doing was going to the thread with Google Location Service and Accuracy working. And the reason why, because the same 40 BK is going to use that for that, it's going to also help you with your launcher. So if you go ahead and go there, and this is the thread that was started by Dragonfire 1024, he had four APKs he wants you to download. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure you have Total Commander installed. And you can get Total Commander at the Amazon Play Store, so go ahead and make sure that's installed onto your tablet as that's what you're going to use to actually install each of these APKs from your tablet. Now when I actually try to use a silk browser to go to XDA and click on each one of these links you're going to see where I keep clicking on it and it just wasn't doing anything. If you run into the same issue you can do like I did go to the browser on your computer and just install all four of those APKs just transfer those files over later. So just go ahead and install all four of those. And while are you doing that? I went ahead and since I know I was going to want to use a different launcher, I went ahead and went to the thread of any launcher, no root, by Baron Kiko and installed his launcher hijack v3. Went ahead and start download that APK and put that on my computer. So once that is done, the next step I went ahead and did was since I'm going to have to plug in my computer anyway, let's go ahead and get everything set up and ready to go for later on when you decide to use the ADB. So go ahead and go into settings and find your serial number. If you click click on that on that serial number, you're going to get a developer option. Once you go into developer options, go ahead and enable ADB. And then once you plug in your tablet, you're going to get an option on your computer that pops up. Go ahead and check that box. That way you are able to use ADB every time. Now for this step here, you're not going to be using ADB because it doesn't require ADB to transfer files, but it just saves you a headache for later. So once you're done there, if you want a Mac, make sure you have Android file transfer installed because that's what you're going to need to transfer files from your MacBook to your Fire tablet. So I went ahead and clicked all five files, dragged it from the download folder of my MacBook Pro, and I just went ahead and moved it to the download folder on my Amazon Fire tablet. Now, you didn't have to do that, but that's the choice I chose. I mean, it make it easier for me to find it later. So once you go ahead and install it. Now, one thing that I did run into, and I want for anybody else that run into this to kind of know that this may be a possibility, 
is when I went ahead and started transferring the files, about around 75, 80% done, it just uh, crashed for some reason. If that happened, I just went ahead and unplugged my tablet, plugged it back in, and went through the process all over again. And even though I saw the four files in the download folder, I went ahead and transferred it again just in case, you know, that way I can ensure that there's no errors, that all four files were transferred properly. Now, once you go ahead and have all four files on your computer, or I'm sorry, on your tablet, what you're going to do, want to do is to install all of those APKs in the exact order that Dragonfire 1024 states in this thread. Not in the order that you see in your folder, because as you can see in my folder, it's actually in a different order. Installed in the order he tell you to. So, the first thing you want to do is install android.gsf.login. Second, android.gsf. Third, android.gms. And fourth, android.vending. Once all of those have installed, go ahead and click on the Google Play Store. Once you click on that Google Play Store, it's going to take a while. It's going to say check info. And that check info, don't be alarmed. Sometimes it do take a while for it to go through that process. But once it is done, the next step is going to do is ask you to go ahead and log in. Go ahead and put in your credentials, log in, like you see I've done there. Once you've logged in, go into settings and uncheck the box of auto update the apps because you don't want it to auto update. Once you're done, go ahead and go back home. And as he say, stay out of there for about three or four minutes to give it time to go through the process of updating. While it's doing that, what I went ahead and did, because he went ahead and suggested, is to go ahead and go into location settings and click on that prompt to allow you to make sure location settings is on and you're going to get a prompt that pop up and go ahead and tap agree. All right, by now, it's been long enough. So all your apps should have been installed like it's supposed to. Go ahead and click on Google Play Store again. And now you're going to see you have access to be able to install Google Play apps. So for me, I went ahead and installed Chrome browser because I definitely want that. I didn't care for the Silk browser, YouTube, and most importantly, YouTube TV. Also, while you're there, go ahead and make sure you install Google Home. And there's an important reason for that, which I will explain in a bit. And let's go ahead and talk about that real quick. So if you go to any launcher and you click on that Hijack V3, you're going to notice that the options you have are based on what you download. So if you want Nova Launcher, install that, and you'll be able to click on that and make that your launcher. But if you want Google Launcher, if you just download the Google Launcher and you go to try to utilize it, you tap on it, it's going to give you an error message. The reason why it's doing that, because it's telling you that you need to update it, but you're not going to be able to. To fix this, if you click on home right there, click on that, you, it's going to, once you log in, you'll be all set. And then once you click on Google home, you'll be all set. And now you officially have the Google Now launcher. And in fact, you would notice, because I actually ran into a problem where I didn't have that, where I tried to use Nova Launcher, I was not able to use widgets. But once I went in and installed the Google Launcher properly, everything was all set. Now, you would go to YouTube TV and you notice it's not working. You got the prompt that's saying, you cannot find your location. So this next step, we're gonna fix all of that. So this next part of the tutorial is going to not only deal with the issue of your YouTube TV not working, but it's going to help you speed up your device by disabling all of your bloat apps. Now, let me clarify. Disabling means just that. It's hiding or disabling it. It's not removing it. 
So it's technically still on your device. So the next thing you want to go ahead and do, if you haven't done, since we've already went ahead, we've already got ADB set up and we all good to go. We're going to want to go to the thread by supersonic. 27 power 43, which is how to disable system apps on Fire HD 7, 8, and 10. And you're going to see you have to prompt for ADB shell, run as .com, unified, Facebook.com ID. Now, this is where I ran into problems earlier. And which is where I found out, first of all, if you're not up to five, at least 5.6.1.0, you may run into problems because when I downloaded the APK that you had attached here and I tried to install it, it won't allow me to. It pretty much would not install. Once I updated to 5.6.1.0, it installed just fine. So make sure you do that. Another thing to note, and what you will see here, if you do ADB shell, you run the commands that you have there and which what I've done, by the way, I did ADB shell, I did his commands, his ID, and then I went to page three, post number 21, and you're going to see CyberSocket went ahead and listed all the codes there. All I did was copy and paste each one of those. Well, you will see where it keeps saying false, 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 false. I was not paying attention, and I just kept going through the whole process. And later when I looked at it, I noticed all the apps were still there. If you see false, something's wrong. Now, in my case, I made two errors. One, I didn't actually install that uh, unified APK. All I did was download it. So that was my fault there. And the second part was I never updated 5.6.1.0. But once I updated, I installed it, and then I tried it again, it actually started saying true. So everything actually started working. So for me, that's what I needed to do to fix it. So if you're seeing false, something's not working either. You didn't have the APK installed correctly. Your ADB is not talking. Something's going wrong. So make sure you see true. So I went ahead and copy and paste each one of those commands, removing pretty much the, or hiding everything that you have in the list right here. Once I copied and pasted and hid all those apps that he have, I noticed that once I went home, went to YouTube TV, everything pulled up and started working. So by following this step here, not only did I solve the issue of speeding up my device by getting rid of all the unnecessary stuff running in the background that was causing lag, but also helped out with YouTube TV. And this is pretty much what a lot of people are wanting from the Amazon Fire tablet, or it's pretty much a cleaner version of an Android tablet. Now, most people like myself realize that this is a cheap tablet and we're not expecting this to be an iPad or a Samsung tablet. We just want something simple, something cheap that allows us to use it as an e-reader, utilize YouTube, utilize YouTube TV, watch some movies, listen to some music, whatever. And this will provide that. So, hey guys, hopefully this tutorial will help you out. If you have any questions, definitely hit me, out, hit me up at droidforums.net or you can post in this thread below. Thank you. This is PC747. Thank you again for watching. Leave your comments below. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel.